plastic model builders welcome back what you are seeing is our f15 that we finished in the last episode we put on all the decals and now we are going to put on a little bit more decals so here it is you see us spray painting the sway bars right there and this is what happened in the last episode so we're going to apply the decals to the sway bars we're scraping some paint away right here because we had to do that so here we go on the decals put one of these on each of these sway bars there's like six of them so you got to put those on uh, here's your tail hook the arresting hook as you, I mentioned it had broken off so hey make sure you do that later on in the model and you don't have to worry about it breaking like I did these are the pods that you have more decals plenty of decals on this model as I said we did most of them in the last episode if you didn't see that episode go check it out I showed you a quick pre post preview of that earlier in this episode so Go watch it it's pretty good you can sit there and watch me put on all the decals on this entire model except for what we're doing right now so make it look pretty of course this is our model making madness you know you got to mention that all these pods there's two pods one on each side different pods for each side here they are so here all the decals are on there they look good by the way i forgot to spray paint these gloss so they might silver a little my mistake it happens uh so to make these fit, you got to cut them down to size just a little bit because they got a little bit of tabs left on the sides. So pay attention, practice before you do this, make sure everything fits before you put the parts on and put your glue on because you might be wasting some time. So press them in, they'll fit in there, just pop them in, you can hear them click in there. So here are the other sway braces, lots of these things too. Six per side, here's one. And here is the other. So let's do a little bit faster now. Three, four, five, and six for one side. Flip it over. There's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and what's last? Twelve. There they are. Those are all done. Let's put on our missiles. So, actually, I'm sorry, not missiles. A couple more sway braces right here. Those go on this uh, little thing here. These are actually the missile pylon, so they will get some sway braces. So, I lied, there were just six on those one sections. There's a little bit more, as you can see. Nothing but sway braces. So here are the missiles. I painted them in light compass gray, finally, as you saw, plenty of different tries of these. Um, and I painted the tips of those. We're letting those dry, by the way. This goes compass gray to these little squares. Uh, painted the missiles like compass gray, and we're gonna go back and we're gonna paint the tips of those the same color as the regular model, which is a gunship gray. Don't forget to paint the little uh, fins there, silver. They're on all Sidewinder missiles, so every time you do them, you just kinda know to look out for them and to make them look pretty. There they are. So here we go, painting these gunship gray, same color as the model. Be careful, don't bend them, I bent mine a little bit. Peel those off, and guess what these have? A zillion more decals. Yes, a zillion. A little hyperbole there. So, four missiles, I means you gotta do everything four times. Put on these little guys right here. Put on a little bars. I don't know what any of these things mean. I'm sure somebody that makes models and was in the military will be able to tell me, and I will probably forget. I know what the stripes mean. Those are whether or not they're armed, disarmed, all that good stuff, active, and blah, blah, blah. So, here we go. Red and a blue one on each one. So, there is one complete missile. Do you think I should waste my time showing you all of them? No, I'm not going to do that for a change. So, this is the canopy. You see I have it done there. We're painting the little edge here the same color as the rest of the model the body it's that gunship gray color turns out really pretty of course we got to paint this same color as the body too and then we will put on these decals which I mentioned way back when in some of my episodes these go on there you can find pictures of these on the actual seats this is not in the instructions and there they are so put them on small things paint this little area black right here this is for the um, heads up display we're gonna cut it out and paint the base of that black we'll let it sit and then we'll attach it a little bit later there you go looks good 
So guess what? Let's attach the missiles to the pylons. And we'll let those sit. I used a combination of plastic cement and super glue. Depends on what you feel like doing. I did both, so this was plastic cement right there. Pretty easy, more plastic cement. I wasn't too concerned where it went because most of these got covered up by the rest of the missile rail, so you couldn't see it. By the way, I wasn't too concerned with my paint job with those four squares on each side. It is what it is. So we got the pods attached. Now we are going to attach this center piece here. It's just a rail, nothing goes on it. Uh, just the way the model is. I didn't mind it because I love this model. It's great. And you're going to see that in this review, which is coming up. So here we're going to attach the missiles and look, super glue. Favorite things. Works fast and if you get it on your fingers, you glue your fingers to your fingers. Never a good thing. I'm sure we've all done that before and panicked. That's all right. You can get it off with acetone. So here we go. Put that on there. It also does a nice little neat effect to it when uh, the way it dries on there. Little color discoloration, I should say. We're putting on the fuel tanks. And look at this. Doesn't this look pretty? I think so. Attached landing gear lights to the front gear. There they are. Nice clear view of that. As you can see, I didn't bother sanding or doing any touch up work to those pods. I just didn't feel like it. I got lazy. That's okay, still a fun model to do. So there we go, paint around there silver, putting in that heads up display like I said earlier, with a little bit of super glue. Hey, look at that. We are going to attach the pedo tubes to this plane and after that comes the canopy and we will be done. That is right, we will be done with this model. Guess what? I forgot about the landing gear. So put on the wheels, uh, there's a flat spot on the rear wheels. So make sure you put that on and then just kind of press the plane down on something flat. That way you make those wheels flat instead of having to worry about lining them up the proper way. And then make sure you press them in so they steer really good. So there we go. Finally, attaching the windshield and the canopy. Once that's on, the model is done. Guess what? Time for the review. So here it is. Plastic model builders, here it is. I think so far, this is probably one of my most favorite models that I've done. It looks great. The best thing about this model, as I can tell you, this is the F-15E Strike Eagle by Ravel. It's 148th scale. The thing we all love, the panel lines, they're recessed. Yes, that's right, recessed. Go out, buy the kit. This plane looks absolutely great. It's perfect. I love the color, the gunship gray. Uh, it, you know, I mean, this. I have nothing bad to say about this. Panel lines, it went together really well. I'm not an expert, but it was hard for me to sand stuff. But hey, you know, that's just me. This here is one separate piece, so you don't have a line going all the way down the middle of this whole entire plane, which I think was a very smart idea. So the only places you're going to see panel lines are basically going right here. If we turn this over on this side, got to be careful with this plane. There's going to be one all the way right here. And it meets up right here, so you're going to have to hide that a little bit. But they did a really good job of making sure that that kind of looks like that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, the wings, they also did those about the same way where they kind of join themselves together. So it looks like that's where a panel automatically goes. So they, whoever designed this one did a better job than all the other models I've ever seen, especially by Ravel. This is certainly a good one. Uh, you got to be careful of these right here because, you know, they're, they're different sizes. So don't go putting the whole model together and then not noticing which side these are because each one is a little smaller than the other. So you got to pay attention to the instructions on that. Um, it has these right here that go on a separate side, the wheels. They're flat, so when you put this together, you know, it sits nice and proper like this. Uh, it's got the, um, a little bit of the, uh, what do you call those? The stabilizers and stuff for the pylons. Just make sure you have those on proper. I actually installed those the right way this time. Good thing, because you remember one of my other models, I didn't. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about this? 
The only hard stuff was putting in the wheels and, you know, painting all this stuff, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. I masked it off. I managed to make it work. I used rubber for the um, rubber testers color for the wheels just to see what it did, and you know, it gives a little bit of brown color. I put these on right here, which are the antenna for the front of the plane. Uh, there is nothing that goes right here in the middle other than that. You know, you do the back of this. Uh, the way that has you mask off, since I painted the whole model first instead of this, I basically masked it off using wet paper, and it did a pretty good job. I did put a gloss coat on the whole model. The cockpit went together fairly well. Uh, the only problem with the cockpit on the uh, glass is that there's a seam that goes straight down the middle of the glass right here. So you have to sand that out, and this is where it'll be. So, you know, just a little bit of touch up. Those who are afraid to do that, like me, you just have to get in there and do it and try it and see what happens. So mine turned out fairly well. I've gotten a little bit better at sanding clear parts. You know, that's all there is to it. Uh, the decals, there were a lot of them on here. Just take your time, as always, do them right. Make it look proper. And this is it. Uh, really nice model. Has a couple of Sidewinder missiles on there. Four of those. Got your two fuel tanks. Uh, rear engines. A little bit unclear, so I'd say read some directions on how to do the engines with the colors on the inside and stuff like that. And also figure out how to paint the, uh, the seats right in here because they... I did them up fairly well with how the instructions called for. And the other thing is this arresting hook right here. A little bit hard, I missed that in the directions around of putting it on just because I figured it went on. And the only other problems were figuring out how these line up. This is new to the F-15E Strike Eagle and where they meet in the back. It did leave a nasty little seam, but you can touch that up. So let's show you this plane and here it is in a little bit of detail starting with the nose. You see there's a front canopy right there. Hey, there's no line down the middle of it anymore. You could see inside that cockpit. I had a little bit of silvering right here by those four dots is where the seam is. Go back, check that out if you missed it because it was hidden pretty well. Here's the uh, bombs, missiles, drop tank, rear engines right here. There you go, you see the silvering that we had to do with that. Uh, here's our front landing gear, or actually our rear landing gear. You can see in detail where those decals go right there. You can see the little sway braces, some more decals right here, the engine intakes, some landing lights. Hey, look at that, there's the front and the pitot tubes. And we are going to show you a lovely top view of this plane. And here it is. So a nice little view from the top, you saw some of the bottom stuff, here you go, one last shot at that. This is the bottom of the aircraft and the top of the aircraft. One more time, I was happy with it, it looks great, so check it out. Uh, this is it, if you haven't seen the video series on this, go back and watch it, you're going to love it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you get the latest updates on our videos every two weeks. Give us some comments and some likes. And until next time, see ya. And for our next model, the B-29 Super Fortress. We're going large, we're going home.